Hello and welcome to this uh, festive edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. Uh, it's been uh, a lovely year. Uh, 2022 has been fantastic for us uh, as, as, as KV breeders. We've been able to show again and we've been able to meet our friends and uh, have a good time and get back to some sense of normality. So it's been, um, it's been very good. Um, we've been very lucky. We've had some great results. We've bred some really nice guinea pigs. And uh, also the viewers of this channel uh, have, have also bred some very good pigs. And uh, this is what this video is all about. It's about just celebrating uh, the successes uh, of breeding a, a lovely guinea pig, be it a pet, be it a pure breed. And uh, yeah, so you'll see now um, some of the viewers' uh, KVs um, and some of our own. Hope you enjoy. So first up, we have uh, Charlotte Kennedy wishing us all a, a Merry Christmas uh, with a, a lovely family of beige. Uh, she's done very well there and they're, they're sitting beautifully. Liz Wren uh, decided she would like to share her setup with us and it looks uh, very good indeed. Lots of space, all the water bottles filled up nicely and uh, all the best to her. And there's a festive message from Lillipop Caves. They've done very well this year, winning some uh, very good stock shows in uh, some very high placings in the open shows. 2023 should be a good year for them. And here's a, a, a lovely young dark-eyed white from uh, Maggie Asianson. I was lucky enough to meet Maggie at a couple of shows this year and uh, admire her guinea pigs. They were, uh, they did a very proud, I must say. It's a lovely festive scene from Sarah. Uh, she's really put some effort in here, um, even with the uh, the Christmas tree, <laughs> the edible Christmas tree. Uh, this, this one really uh, took me aback and... Uh, I think you'll all uh, agree it's a, a fantastic effort here by Sarah. And this cheeky Christmas chappy belongs to Caroline Crease. Uh, again, fantastic uh, effort with the uh, the Christmas hat and the tinsel. Uh, he looks fantastic. Katrina also managed to get her KV to uh, wear a Christmas hat. Um, and I really like the little toadstools in the beginning. Very festive, uh, puts us all, all in the mood for Christmas. Uh, Gemma Rees has um, sent us a lovely uh, Merry Christmas and made a lovely festive scene with her KVs and uh, I must say very impressed again, love the Christmas star. This lovely Agouti is uh, from someone I admire, o o Odette Williams uh, from Australia, um, normally known for her uh, marked varieties but uh, this lovely uh, Agouti will see us through. And Shamrock KVs uh, has sent us a uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, with their skinny pigs, um, not something I've uh, ever handled or, or seen, but something uh, as a stockman you can still admire, I guess. Here we have a very regal looking uh, guinea pig from uh, Tams in Love, uh, standing to attention and uh, saluting us into the new year. I was very lucky to meet Gemma of Copper Beach KVs uh, at the Devon show this year and uh, see her uh, uh, Dutch first hand. Um, very impressed and uh, hopefully the new year bodes well for you. We have a, a lovely uh, Merry Christmas from Lucy Ellen. Uh, and here we have the, the guinea pig sitting in Santa's sleigh. Fantastic. It's been lovely to watch Niels uh, develop his strain of Himalayans and uh, his, his artistic uh, photographs always uh, impress me. Uh, well worth following on Instagram as well. And here we have some of our December babies. Um, it's always nice to have youngsters around uh, Christmas time because I'm home to, to look after them a lot more. Um, these sows uh, will hopefully be useful in the breeding pen um, and uh, you never know, they may even make show pigs um, but it's a bit early to tell right now, you know, we need the ears to settle and the, uh, the colour to come through. Um, we've also had a little singleton uh, baby boar um, from uh, a very good line. Uh, we'll see how he gets on, but you know, it's early days right now. And it's always nice to have Himalayans born in the shed, these ones uh, were born very early in December and they're starting to point up nicely now. Uh, just need the ears to come down. And uh, we should have something for the show bench later in the year. This one was born uh, just a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, looking very nice. Uh, squeaking away. So we won't keep him out too long. We'll put him back in with mum. A Christmas Abbey from Daneside Stud to, to bring us into the new year. Um, very festive. And I, I, I'm very taken with the Abbey. I've made no bones about uh, by this. Maureen has uh, sent us this lovely picture um, and I, I quite like it. It's very creative and very artsy. 
I'm not this way inclined, but I really can appreciate it. My name is Cave. He's sent us a, a, a lovely festive scene as well with their uh, beautiful KV again wearing a, a traditional Santa Claus hat and uh, doing a very good job of staying still uh, for the photo. There's a lovely group of KVs from Gracie C. Um, they, they look all happy with their, their festive costumes on, uh, all ready to see in the new year. And uh, Merry Christmas to you too. And here's Lucy's uh, lovely KV with uh, another Christmas hat. I'm not sure if there's a market for this, but uh, as, as a hat wearer myself, I, I can fully appreciate the, the need for a, a Christmas hat. It's a lovely Christmas message from uh, Penny Wiggles KVs. Uh, and uh, a Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, your KVs look absolutely fit and healthy and fantastic. And hopefully you get to spend some time with them across the Christmas period. And here we have a lovely Christmas scene from Jackie Nicholson. Uh, I, I do like this this one. It caught my eye straight away. Um, au natural. <laughs> And lastly, we have uh, a, a lovely uh, long hair from Veronica. Uh, it's nice to see all the cavies that everyone has uh, at home. And it's nice to share it with everyone else. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, it just uh, tops off the year for you just to see some, some lovely guinea pigs uh, all on display for everyone to see. And I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And hopefully I'll see you on the uh, the, the show circuit uh, but if not, feel free to come along to the Facebook group and uh, share share your successes there. Uh, until next time, I'm going to be with Greg. See you again.